If you're looking for some apps you can use to help with trip planning or on your travel days, we have a plethora for you on this video. Ooh, big words. I know, right? We have quite a few apps that you're going to need. We've asked our favorite RV friends this next question, which is a popular question asked to us by our subscribers, and it is... What is your favorite RV app? Hi, we are Al and Angie Conaway. We're from West Virginia, and um, we've been RVing full-time for two months now in our 2008 Fleetwood Providence 40-foot diesel pusher. And uh, you can find us at Life Beyond the Burbs on Facebook. I'd have to say our favorite RV app is probably, my favorite RV app is All Stays. I use Google Maps, I use Apple Maps I, in conjunction with All Stays. Um, we use Campendium, we use all, you know, all of them to a degree, but the one I use the most is probably All Stays to help find um, campgrounds. And then I'll, I'll use that to find low clearances and that sort of thing, find truck stops, you know, so I, that was very helpful. And then I just started using Toll Guru um, because, you know, from where we're from, tolls are two dollars and, you know, it's no big deal. But coming uh, from St. Louis to Texas, it was about twenty-five dollars in tolls. So if you don't have cash, um, we actually had an incident where we didn't have the exact change when we were getting off an exit, and there was a line of cars behind us, and we're in a forty-one and a half foot diesel pusher with a jeep behind it. And I'm screaming, saying, we need quarters, we've got to have quarters, it's $6. And, the, and we're just throwing like money into this bin and just like panicking. I'm yeah, panicking. Yeah, She's he like, was panicking. It's fine, I'll get some laundromat money. And then I'm <laughs> just losing my mind. Yeah. So the light turned green. I'm sure it didn't know that we were a diesel pusher and we just took off. And I'm, yeah. I'm still expecting a ticket in the yeah. mail. So after that. We've only been on the road two months, so we're just using basic apps now. But I'm yeah. so excited to use Harvest Hose, Boondock Welcome, our RV, village. yeah, our um, village. That's how we met our first friends on the road. Mm -hmm. So it's a very important app. And I, I'm excited to get into past using the necessity apps and getting into some of, yeah. some of the more fun apps. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Favorite RV app probably has to be Copilot. Yeah, we, that's the one we use the most. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean a lot of we use a lot of online tools. I guess I don't know. RV Trip Wizard is awesome for planning our routes, and then but our, they don't have an app yet. No RV Trip Wizard, <laughs> <laughs> but they do. Uh, but we use the Copilot GPS, which lets you put in the dimensions, the weight, the height, everything about your RV, and then route you appropriately. I'd have to say that's probably our favorite app. Yeah. Even though it's taking us down a one-way street once. Yeah. But you know. Yeah, but for the most part, it's good. Um, I'll also get on like the Pilot and Flying J loves apps as we're traveling just to find what's closest to us. Mm -hmm. One of the apps that I really like is one called Fuely. So every time we fill up with gas, we just put in there the the mileage reading from the the truck and how much we spent on the gas and how many gallons it was. And that way we can sort of see our fuel economy over time. That's quite a good one just to keep an eye on things. And we learned with that that our fuel economy is significantly better when we drive a little slower. So if we're driving at say 75 miles per hour when we're towing, we get about five miles per gallon. But if we just slow down to 55, we can get over double that or about 11 miles per gallon. Another app we use a lot is Google Maps. We do use directions and we also uh, use it a lot for RV parks. We start with Compendium, but then, especially for RV parks, uh, Google Maps a lot of times finds more RV parks in the area than the other apps. I know there's a lot of people out there who are, very, who are very nervous about using Google Maps for directions. It can sometimes send you under like, low clearance bridges or, or maybe on roads that aren't suitable. Because we're such a small rig and we are really high clearance on the, on the trailer, I have a habit of just following it blindly and just wherever it takes us, I'll go. So Diane has to keep a bit of an eye on it and just make sure that I don't start going off-road and, and doing some crazy stuff. I but can't it's... even count how many curbs you have jumped. <laughs> Our favorite RV app has got to be Campendium. I mean, it, it, there's there's so much on there that you can use. There's, there's a lot of apps out there, but the first go-to is always Campendium. And the reason... Most of the, most of the reason we use that is because there's full-time RVers that are putting the information in there and we have to be connected. That's the we first thing we look at. We both work remote and we have to have connectivity 
and that's the literally the first thing we look at do is at and and Verizon. What do they have? How many bars? <laughs> Our favorite RV app, uh, although we can't use it as an app, it's a website, is Campendium. Uh, we do a lot of research in places we go, whether it's boondocking or finding a good RV park. And the one thing that I like about it is it does have the Wi-Fi connectivity where other people have shared. So we know when we go somewhere, am I going to be able to uh, have a connection to work? So if you're listening, Campandium, make sure you put that app out for the Android people. Yeah, not everybody's an Apple guy. I am not an Apple guy. I yeah. would like to use it you know, yeah. on, on my Android instead of having to use it on a tablet or on a PC. Yeah. It's Campandium. Compa I, I, I'm not sure to pronounce it correctly. It's Campandium. I usually like to use that to find out places to go. Our go-to RV app right now is the military RV app. The, <gasps> oh, yeah, because yeah. we use it, because we're retired Air Force, we like to use that because it gives us some great feedback. It's got pictures on it. Sometimes they have some videos on it and actually tells us everything we need to know before we go there, uh -huh. whether we can make reservations or can't make reservations, whether uh, it's long-term weekly or daily, and it gives us some great feedback. It's called Ultimate Campgrounds Military. That's the ones we use. For uh, routing, we use uh, Good Sam's uh, RV Planner. Um, we use RV Parky a lot if we're driving down the road and want a place to stay for the night. Those two, I would say. The app we use the most is the Copilot RV app, and that is what we use for navigation. Uh, the Copilot app will direct you on roads that can handle your RV and won't put you under um, low crossings or anything like that. So that's been real handy for us in the last couple of years. And it's kind of an affordable option to an RV GPS because it's how much? $40? $50, I think. $50. You can also download the map. So if you don't have a phone signal, you can still use it. So it's a good option. And then another one that we use a lot on travel days is we usually stop at Pilot or Flying J's because we have such a big RV. We're going in the truck lanes, and so I'll use that app and look for those. We, uh, we like to ride bicycles, hike, and we have paddle boards. But to help us out with the hiking, we bought the, uh, the All Trails app. But anywhere you go in the country, it gives you detailed maps on your iPhone or on an iPad so that you can take that with you when you go hiking. For uh, planning for trips, uh, the All Stays is a fantastic app. We went ahead and bought the complete app. And we find that that's uh, been very helpful, especially with our trip planning. For me, it's co-pilot. You can put in your coach size, weight, length, and height so that you don't go down roads where you, know, you can't make it. Uh, I also like Flying J and I also like Loves. Oh, yeah. That way I can say, hey, where's the next? Their apps. Yeah, yeah, where's the next place I can get fuel or dump, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Those are uh, my favorite. And then All Stays is really um, helpful to find camping spots while you're kind of in motion <laughs> and uh, if you haven't planned it out ahead of time. Uh, all Stays, Campendium. Sometimes we look at two or three different apps. Sometimes they don't all have the same campgrounds. Gas Buddy. Gas Buddy. Yeah. We use Gas Buddy a lot to check for diesel price because a lot of times you go a, a block or two off of the interstate and you can save. Uh, a lot of channels use RV apps out there. That's not something that we've really gotten into. So I can't say that we have a favorite one or that we really use any. The biggest app we use probably is Gas Buddy. That helps us really find the cheapest gas in the area that we're in. And it will even tell you if gas is you know, projected to go down the next day. It'll say, hey, maybe wait 24 hours if you can. Gas is going to be cheaper tomorrow. Right. And you can also log our fuel that way. So that's how we keep track of our fuel expense. Other than that, it's just Google Maps because yeah to get place to place, but we don't have any RV specific apps that we use a lot. I wish Boondockers Welcome had one, but they don't, so we have to use their website. So as you've just heard from all of our RV friends, there are a plethora <laughs> there are. of apps out there that you can use. And I'm sure you've heard a lot of the same ones over and over, like All Stays and Campendium. The we common would, ones. Yeah. yeah. And we would ask Phil what his favorite is, but Phil doesn't use RV apps. I, I do, but. He drives. 1% of the, the time. <laughs> My favorite app, is Stacy using the apps. That's what Yes, yeah, that's, that's what usually like. it works for yeah. us. All right, so I do want to give you some ideas for a couple other ways to do some trip planning um, and even on travel days, um, apps or programs you can use. Do tell, Stace. My number one for planning, which I do, of course, all of, is RV Trip Wizard. They do not have an app, 
so technically, yes, it's not an app, but I use it all the time. You can't even stick to the question. Oh, <laughs> be quiet. So the one of the reasons I like it is because A, it has a ton of RV parks in it, and B, when you're routing yourself, you set in your parameters for how far you want to drive, and it puts up a circle so you know if you're going to be within that driving distance. So next is ZMap. I don't really use this one for planning. I use it for plotting. I've plotted all the places that we've previously been since we started um, RV. Next, of course, you guys know about Pilot and Flying J. We use that one a lot. Next, of course, something we use a lot of and we are starting to use a lot more is Harvest Host. We, of course, love Harvest Host. Yeah. They have an app now and they're getting more and more places to stay all the time. As a matter of fact, when we leave here, we have two stops planned as soon as we leave and we were really excited about them. No, they are not a winery or a brewery. So you guys stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, there's but, much more to the harvest host than just that. Right. So we'll bring you more of that later, but that is another one we use all the time. Of course, our village. Um, when Angie spoke earlier about meeting her first friends through our village. Hello, that, that was, was us. us. She was should us. have said that. Yeah. They were actually staying at a park and we were, uh, we were kind of backed into each other and they were right across the way. She made a comment about being able to see us from where she I was. I think she was actually stalking us because we were such a good looking couple and had a nice rig. <laughs> so she was kind of peeking out her blinds and stalking us. Yeah, but that's it. We were her first, mm -hmm. their first RV yes. road friends. Yeah, and it was long before, you know, YouTube or any of that. I mean, it had started, but we had no practically no subscribers at all. So it wasn't through YouTube. It truly was through our village. Yep. And we are so blessed to have met them. Um, if you haven't used our village before, it is a great way to meet new people. It is, truly. And then, of course, we use the military apps. Um, one is CRV Military, and it's a part of All Stays. And the other one is Ultimate Military Campground. So that's Ultimate MILCG, and that's the one Chris and Donna also talked about. Yep, very good apps. And the last one that we use actually is the one Phil uses the most because yep. he's the old weatherman, and that one's called Windy. Yeah, Windy is a, is a good app. I um, open it up if we're experiencing heavy winds. Windy gives you three hour updates, it gives you wind speed, wind direction, and wind gusts. So be sure to drop down in the comments any other apps or programs that you use to help with your planning or your travels because we are always looking for new ways to help us be more efficient with our planning. Yeah, and we'd love to share those apps with, um, with everybody. So please leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope you're really liking our interview series. We're thinking about doing another series, um, but I want to see how you guys are feeling about it. Are you bored? Should I ask some different questions? Where are you guys with this series? So let me know what you're thinking. I do have a list of about 12 to 14 questions that I've gotten from subscribers. So let me know your feeling on this series. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. And we will see you on, on the, the road. road. Let me check my phone without saying that. <laughs> I'm not you, leaving that in the video. He, no, you you hurt him. Oh. That's hurt. <laughs> what I did before didn't hurt. Okay. You know, it, no other time am I outside do I hear. <laughs> That's only when we're recording. A plane, a train. I don't hear any of that. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Let's, let's leave. It doesn't make sense. I know. <laughs> All right. We've got just what you need. But wait! There's more. Just one. I know. What's our favorite app well, for RV? Well, Pilot and All Stays. For okay, me. Okay, let's start over. Go ahead. What's What's our favorite? Are you looking? We are. <laughs> that bird. <laughs> I couldn't help with that bird. Much better. <laughs> plethora. <laughs> you can't even spell plethora. Uh, can you download maps? Yes. You'll have to edit that out. Okay. Or we have a long list. We have what you need. We. We got what you need. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are you looking for some tools to help with RV planning or on your travel days? We we got what you need. That's what you said to do, right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was Can so we? Bad. That was way bad. Yeah. All right. We need to focus. All of our RV friends. Yep. Stay tuned. No. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Now we give the question. You can cut that out. Okay, so just name, how long we've been doing it. And name, our, your channel, channel name, how long um, you've been, been RVing and what kind of RV you're in. Okay. okay. All right, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi, we're Al and Angie Conaway. <laughs> <laughs> name, channel, how long we've been doing it. Yeah. Okay. 
Hi, we're Al and Angie Conaway. You're not being tested. Bloopers. So just you go want me to do it. it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking too hard.